Hi, this is Dean, and welcome to a new edition of the Dean's Office. Today, I want to show you the solar panel that we use with our Jackery and our Kodiak both. It's a Renogy 175 watt monocrystalline. Uh, it's a very flexible solar panel. A lot of flexible solar panels go to about 30 degree arc. Well, this one you can almost roll all the way up. Um, it goes, I want to say, to 248 degrees. That's actually one of the problems with it is it's almost a little bit too flexible, but I still like it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, show you how it all works together, and uh, just kind of give you a brief overview of it. So one of the things I liked about it was the, the fact that it is waterproof. It is, uh, uh, which some solar panels, uh, you just can't. But this one you could put actually put on top of a band. There's lots of different things that you could do with it. I like to use it because I can. it's so lightweight and easy to turn that I can turn it for the, the direction of the sun throughout the course of the day. All right, uh, if you want to just see some of the basic information about it, so you can at least freeze it if you need to. Just the tag that comes along with it. You will notice that it only weighs 6.2 pounds. Super lightweight, super flexible, like I said, and just easy to, to use all the way around. All right, in my last segment of the Dean's office, I went over the Jackery Explorer 1000 solar generator. And uh, then my decision was, what kind of solar panel do I use with it? So, here's what I decided to do. I went and just looked at a lot of different reviews. I was hoping to find something uh, powerful enough that I really only need one, because the truck camper is not that big. I needed something lightweight. I went ahead and went with this Renogy because it is only 6.2 pounds and it's just got it got great reviews so i went ahead and went with it uh, the jackery actually comes with this connection which has the standard mc4 connectors uh, my kodiak solar generator i've talked about it as well it also has a, a connection uh, with an mc4 so it was just a win-win situation for me uh, a lot of people might ask well doesn't jackery have its own solar panels the answer is yes they have 100 watt solar panels for about the same price as this 175 watt. Um, there are some good things with the Jackeries and I almost went with it. Uh, it's got a nice stand. Um, you know, it's, it folds up, so it makes it very nice and portable. But truth of the matter is, there's so many things that uh, I liked about the Renergy and for a, an extra 75 watts and the same price, I went ahead and went with that direction. What? You wanna say hi? Okay, so a lot of people might ask, well, is there anything you didn't like about it? Is, is, it, it, is it even something that you would buy again? The truth of the matter is I would buy another one, and I might very well, because I can actually put it in series or in parallel. So that's good. I can, I can really essentially double the amount of wattage that I can get into my solar generator. But in terms of, is there anything that I don't like about it? Well, like I said, one of them I've already mentioned, and that is the fact that it is just too flexible. You really have to have it up against a fairly solid surface, uh, otherwise it's just gonna be too bendy and too difficult to kind of arrange. So I just kept the box that it came in, and I use that as kind of my background most of the time. Here I have a nice convenient little uh, bench. bench behind me, so I, I just use that. Now, the other thing that I guess you could say it's, I don't know if you could say it's a big dislike, but it's just a little confusing, is that for some reason, one of the connections to the MC4 is about 17 inches. The other one's about 7 inches. And I'm not sure why they didn't make it the same. But I want to show you how easy it is to, to connect into these. And there's no way that you can possibly mess up. If you tried to get one on the one and it just didn't work, you would know. So you slide one into one. Grab the other one. Slide it in. Plug it into the unit, and you're, and you're charging, as long as it's facing the sun. And one more thing that I would forgot to mention earlier that I really like about it are the little eyelets here. Each one of the corners and one in the middle. We uh, Many times, like I said, it's very flexible, and on a windy day, this thing can kind of float all around. We've been able to get some bungee cords and really help to keep it in place with it. Um, one, th one final thing I want to show you is just how good it works. So we're going to, even though it's late in the afternoon, I'm going to go take it out into the sun and show you the input that we're getting at it. 
the best I've had on a, a nice summer day is about 136 watts, which is really great. It, it's able to take uh, this solar panel and, and charge it up in, in less than a day. So I want to show you, and even on uh, cloudy days, it's still going to draw anywhere from 50 to 70 watts, depending on how many, uh, how cloudy it is that day. All right. So I've brought it over to the sunlight. Now it's late in the day. We have less than an hour before the, the sun sets. But I wanted to show you how it does pick up even in fairly uh, light light. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so we've got it plugged in right now. In fact, if you want to swing around and show them what the sun looks like. We're pretty low in the sky. All right, and then come back over here to the Jackery. You can see it's kicking it right about 68 to 70 percent. As I said, on a perfectly clear summer afternoon, uh, we're looking at about 136 watts and not just 68 or 70. So I really like it for a lot of reasons, um, but it does seem to do the job. It's exactly what I was looking for. And yes, I would definitely buy another one um, and I would recommend it. Now, again, I'm not sponsored by Renogy. I'm not sponsored by any of these things, but I just want to share the information. All right, until next week, we're thinking of you. We'll catch you next time.